So continuing onward with uh, some Bolin projects, um, you've seen the first modification of a traditional Bolin, and uh, it, it's kind of one of these debates that I've had in my head of, you know, I, I don't necessarily like to modify flyer uh, items from original. Um, However, when it comes to these bald ones, uh, because they are such poor pullers, I thought if there would be some way to, you know, circumvent that ability, uh, I'd like to do it. So the first step was to add these get-a-grip tires. Um, and now the second step is I purchased a second Baldwin uh, Sands motor and reverse unit. Because I wanted to try a different kind of modification. Uh, here is SNS Trains um, Baldwin uh, mod kit. I mean, when it comes to a fairly simple uh, upgrade kit, it's hard to hard to beat this combination because you've got just basically three components. <laughs> oh, there's staples in there. It's like, why won't that come out of the bag? Um, you've got a weight that has double-sided tape on it. You simply stick that onto the frame like that um, you've got a motor that mounts where the other one did um, just pretty much like this I think this goes like that there we go uh, and then you've got this dolly uh, AC to DC reverse unit and that's it uh, it's it's pretty simple pretty straightforward um, now, I haven't done one of these before, um, so I don't think I'm going to get myself in trouble by just going ahead and attaching some of these things. At the end of the day, I guess kind of what I'm looking at is how feasible is it to take um, an engine that, doesn't, that looks pretty good, doesn't really run very good, how feasible is it to take something like that, that maybe doesn't cost much, um, and kind of make a bit of an investment um, to try and get some better performance out of it? Now, you know, a lot of people say, well, they're switchers, you know, they don't pull a lot, you know, they're used to slow speeds. True, 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 all true. Having said that, um, I don't think... Uh, I don't think it's wrong to have an engine that can do more <laughs> than bare necessities. Again, um, after having a chance to operate a few of these Baldwins, um, the one that I refurbished actually runs better than most, I guess. I, I didn't, didn't realize that until I, I sat down and thought about it and then had some other people run it. They're like, wow, that thing runs really good. And it does. Um, but typically these Baldwins are noisy. Uh, they, they don't have much weight to them. They don't have much traction to them. And even with the one that I rebuilt, uh, when you see it running around the layout, there are three freight cars in a caboose that it's pulling. And it's doing okay with that. But I wouldn't dare put any more uh, load on it because um, I do have a little bit of un undulation on my layout. Uh, and those were also Pike Master cars, so they were about as light uh, as you can get aside from maybe flying out. So, um, 
adding the pull more or the get a grip tires I should say um, made a significant difference and now I was just kind of curious what happens if we also repower it um, again this is a pretty small motor I wouldn't expect that it's going to have a lot of guts to it but uh, let's see what happens so that's kind of the point of today down pretty pretty low okay well now what you didn't didn't see what's already been done this already has the get a grip tires on it On the layout right now is our uh, can motor equipped dolly reversing unit engine, Baldwin. And this is our readout right here. You can see the amp draw is just ridiculously low. Volts are low. It's pulling a 975 Guilford. Um, passenger car so it's a little bit heavier than the normal um, New Haven cars so we've got a little bit of a load on there but uh, doesn't seem to be struggling very much at all again the amp draw is just amazingly low Now let's switch to our other Baldwin, and this Baldwin uh, has uh, the get -a grip tires on. Both of, both Baldwins have get -a grip tires. Immediately, uh, we're seeing an amp draw that's <laughs> uh, three, four times <laughs> that of the can motor. Voltage is higher. We're running at what seven volts or so, um, and 0.3 amps. Here we're running 1.8, one to two, and 11 volts. So.
So, what does that mean? Well, it translates into it takes more juice to get this motor running. So now I'm going to add another car to our consist. Okay, so now we've got just a baggage car unlit. Um, so not a huge amount of additional weight. Go back up at the 11 volts that we had it at. See our amp draw is a little higher than it had been. I think I'm going to have to go up to about 13 volts here. Now it's managing this okay. Um, not really hearing any slipping. So that's impressive. All right. And now I'm going to switch back to the first Baldwin. Or I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to add, go ahead and pull this forward. And I'm going to add one more car. I'm going to add a second Guilford uh, passenger car again. So this is going to be a heavier car. And uh, the baggage car has a link coupler. So that's a 775 and then there's a 975 in front. All right, so here we go. Repowered Baldwin with two Guilford passenger cars and a baggage car and a 4% grade. We are at, whoa, six amps. We've, we're spinning out. Now, if I go ahead and increase voltage, let's go up here to 10 volts. Looks like it's managing that okay. Whoa. Apparently that curve leans the engine off the drivers a little bit. Again, if I add a little bit more mass to it, that would make a pretty big difference. In fact, I could even do something between the gas tanks on the shell, I bet. Put some additional mass down low and then retest this. Okay, so we're at 10 volts, 0.7 amps, going up a 4 plus percent grade. And except for that curve, is managing this pretty well. Now the next time around, I'm going to give it a little more throttle. Um, I have a sneaking suspicion that this engine could go way too fast <laughs> for the track. But we'll get, we'll get it going a little bit here. Once we get around this curve. Yeah, it's just doing a lot of spinning, but yeah, it'd have no problem really rolling this load. Okay, so that one does pretty good, even out with uh, without additional mass on it. Let's go ahead and switch out the other one and see what we get. Back to our traditional motor bald one with get a grip tires. We'll put this at 10 volts, which doesn't look like it's probably gonna be quite enough. Let's go up here to 13. Our amp draw somewhere in the 2.1 to 2.3 range compared to 0.7. Uh, running about three volts more. But what's interesting as the load increases, the voltage becomes closer. Um, the amp draw is still not, but uh, I think we've got a little bit of slipping, but still with the skidder grip tires, no complaints. All right, so now we've seen both of those in action. Now I'm gonna see about adding additional weight. 